Hey everyone, Merrix here, bringing you another video. This one is going to be on the new DDP Hall of Fame. He's this weekend's feud poster. He is the, a Hall of Fame era striker defensive. And uh, he's really good. Um, yeah, um, let's see. Training ability. As a coach, green gems do 30% more damage, and green moves that deal damage will deal 30% more damage. Another one of these ones. Um, yeah, he's pretty dang good. Um, we're going to get started with triple yellow. Uh, figure four leg lock. Color submission. Choose seven gems to make into yellow submission gems. Do 209k damage for three turns. Remaining turn into power gems of strength 232k. Inverted atomic drop. Uh, 6 MP yellow deal 312k damage. Choose six gems to make into black gems. It's also a reversal. Uh, if your opponent destroys one or more of your power gems, deal 335k damage and make 10 random gems into power gems of strength 232k. Uh, that's really cool. I should be able to show you that mechanic with the sub in. And then the diamond bomb. 6 MP yellow deal 238k damage and choose three columns to make into power gems of strength 232k. This is a very beefy power gems on this boy here. Um, so we got... Kofi and Tatanka, that gives us uh, our 7 yellow MP in Feud. We have Bella, um, who has a new training ability. Or not new, but a buffed. So now she's adding 50% more damage at the coach. And then we're also going to run Alexa, uh, Painter Play Bliss, for 25% more. That's going to make the power gems here 406k. The area, it doesn't say, but they're all the same. So those will be 406k apiece. Not the area, but the columns. Um, anyway, let's get out here, take a look, and there's a couple cool things you can do with this. I'm usually not a big submission fan. You guys know that. This might be an exception. Um, I am going to run it first, even though I really, really like it. So everything would be loaded in Feud. You're going to throw your columns out. And then make sure you get at least two, three matches. We'll reload everything. Um, and then the rest you can just kind of place, uh, hopefully where they stay out of the way somewhat. I'm going to break some of your gems, not a big deal. C broke my power gems, so I'm throwing a bunch more out. So, now we have all these power gems out. Also, I don't know if you noticed, but when I hit the sub, it ticked the power gems because it's a damage move. So, to end this really quick, um, you can just do that again. You don't even need to do the choose. You can just end it this way. Three match of yellow. The power gems will tick um, and we'll end the, the match right here. He's got five mil left, but... Boom. You can see all his health goes away, match over. So it's it's a super fast submission win. Um, and that first tick, I don't know if you guys noticed, we probably did like eight, seven, seven, eight million damage with the first sub. I probably should have called it out. Uh, but yeah, so it's super fast. It recycles itself. You'd only have to worry about escape artist plates, really. Um, one of the better one of the better sub builds I've seen lately. Uh, it's up there with. Um, uh, what's his name? Vinci's is got another really good sub build, but this is better. Okay. Uh, next move set continuing in the power gem theme. We're going to sub in one move for the sub. Haha. <laughs> um, and I'm going to have two different training setups for this one for you guys. So this is the diamond cutter finisher, uh, 1 million damage and choose a three by five area to swap into yellow gems, pin the opponent. So it just recycles all this. Uh, the finisher is 1.7 million. It's at this point. I'll call out the strap. 20% uh, gem damage. Got Fury 2 full and a 200% black move damage metal. That's going to give us about 3 mil on the finisher. Okay. And we should probably put the right entourage on now, huh? So this one is uh, uh, pretty friendly. We got... Kofi and Cena, so he starts the 6 MP loaded, uh, and yellow gem damage buff, then we still got Bella, and then I have San uh, Hollywood Hogan on, so two, three matches, loads the finisher, however, 
you could drop him and put Alexa on and do a five match three swipe and you can actually tick the power gems three times on turn one if you want this is set up to do it twice um which is is quite enough here but uh maybe i'll do it three times just to show you uh potentially so with this one you put your power gems out first of course when you make a match with this it ticks the power gem so let's do a five match just for fun and uh let's set up sure right there let's see what happens here power gems ticked for 7.5 million we swipe for another 0.7 or 7.5 million then you hit the 3 million finisher and you tick him again so 21 million in power gem damage uh 3 million on the finisher so that's like you know that's gonna pretty much take out anyone right so really good um and you can also do that with just with um hollywood on there for the the two three matches if you don't want to do that in two ticks um which is essentially what i'm doing with this build uh but you don't need hollywood need this is the this one you need santa for though to make this one work so 17k santa and taker is more rare he adds 50 percent more power gems to black mp so between your turn this gives you three black mp uh taker or er, santa gives you another one uh so you start with four black mp so you only need two three matches to get to the 10 on the finisher and kofi four santa five your turn six gets you loaded in feud so this one you're just doing the two three matches um again you could do the five and three match thing again but i'll just do the two three matches this time Power gems down. Three match. You can see that does 10 million. And uh, I screwed up. I was going to be cute and do it on each side. You would want to put all these these one more over so you have room for three over here. Because I'm going to eat some of my power gems. Because um, I did that wrong, right? Um, so I'm going to eat some of my power gems. But if you play it right... It does uh, over 20 million and then the finisher. So again, 23-ish million that way. Uh, so yeah, super duper good. Um, really good, if you, especially if you like Power Gem. So he's got another finisher that's pretty awesome in a totally different moveset. Um, this is the one I want to run first, though. Sorry, I had that order of order. So this is set up for without Santa K uh, 17 Sa Santa Hogan. Wow, words are hard. Um, and I don't have any of his gears equipped right now either. This is gearless. Just saying. Okay, so finisher, uh, is a, a trip to the diamond mine, 10 MP finisher, 1.15 million, decrease your countdown gem timers by one, that's 10 black MP. Flying clothesline, deal 101k damage, make 35 random gems into one turn countdown gems that will deal 321k damage and make three random gems into red gems at the end of the turn or the countdown. So those countdown gems alone, when they go off, deal 11.2 million damage. So you're doing 11.2 million just when the countdown gems go off. Then there's the diamond clash, six MP red, 113k damage, increase your black MP by eight. Um, this is pretty uh, beefy. So without 17k Santa, you can do this um, uh, setup um, this way. You would need Wolfpack Sting, though. And then we're going to put um, Trick Stacy. Not Trick, I'm sorry. Tech Stacy for 12k red gem damage. And then Lita for the black finishers do 50% more damage. So This one is um, my favorite build because uh it's merrick's proof okay so the 35 gems go out this goes out it doesn't really matter which order so let's just hit the diamond clash 
throw the countdown gems out. Remember, these countdown gems, when they go off before the red gems, 11.2 million damage. And then the finisher is 3.8. Um, so that's 16 million damage plus whatever gem damage we get here. Which is... 2 million. So that's 18, 18 uh, million damage at 6 star bronze with no plates or metals. No Santa Hogan. Although Wolfpack Sting is pretty rare. Um, so the 17k Santa setup is this way. Also have EO on for this one. Of course, if you don't have EO, um, you could use um, British Bulldog for the red MP. Um, he would you wouldn't need the red MP, but for the red gem damage, I'm sorry. Uh EO's adding a million damage with the on the finisher. Uh I have this loadout save too. Do, 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 do. Yes. Okay. This also has a really big Santa, so it's gonna skew the gem damage a little bit. Um, this would do 2 million gem damage, just like the previous one, uh, did a little bit more, but, uh, give or take. Oh no, that had Stacy, so this would do a little bit less actually, but bigger move damage. I'm sorry. All right. Boom. So again, when these countdowns go off, it's 11.2 mil damage. Finisher's 5.2 million, so we're already up to 16.4. million, so that's like 19 mil, super easy at uh, 6 star bronze. Obviously, I really like that. Again, this is only a 20% strap. That's no plates. Um, so there are plenty of plates you can wear, use. Of course, you could put a Judgment Day plate on. And um, that's going to drain their MP. You could also use a Z plate, and that's going to buff all your gems 50% and increase your defense. And you could use the Heart of Jade, uh, which gives you 100% red gem damage. Uh, again, not going to probably bother with that, um, because none of those necessarily are buffing the gems huge. To be honest, those movesets would do better. Um, the power gems, I would actually probably uh, run armor on. And then the... Um, the one I just ran, I would run uh, move damage and take down two, to be honest. Um, because the countdowns are doing all of the damage, and that should get you in the range for easy wins against six-star silvers, right? But uh, if you get both of his gears, it opens up the build I'm going to show you. I'm not going to put the gear on, but it does open up this build um, for being loaded with this trainer setup. Uh, and this is the one move you haven't seen, the running, swinging, neck breaker. Really, the only way I would end up using this move is um, if I got both gears and the second gear adds 4 MP. First gear adds 50% gem damage. Also, this is what I would um, run as well with the 99 MP. Um, and then just buff your red gem damage to kingdom come. Potentially use black move damage finishers, but mostly uh, red gem dam damage as much as you could. Um, with this one. So the running, swinging, neckbreaker, 170k damage, increase your red gem damage 207% for two turns, and that's 7 MP black. So with the gear four, um, your turn is one is five. You need um, woods here, and Santa gets you the 10 black. And then um, Bulldog, your turn in Santa um, easily gets you uh, it gives you eight red MP and we only need six. So bulldog's actually on there for the, the red gem damage. And then we'd be back to Stacy here. So double gear. This is very, very powerful as you'd expect, or with 99 MP for two months. So you're still doing that 11.2 million um, countdown damage, but now your gem damage is also really buffed on the reds. So we're doing 15 million plus. How much gem damage? 
That was uh, 8.2 million. And at six star silver, that would translate into like 16 million. And then you add the gear on top of that, you're like 17, 18 million in gem damage, uh, plus the 11, which puts you up to like, what, 28, 29. You're over 30 by the time it's all said and done with everything, uh, with just <clears throat> three easy clicks. So, yeah. So with both gears, he's ridiculously good, super fast. No question. Um, just really, really good. Um, I think with no gears, he's actually really, really good. So Striker has some really good options. Um, Bray is very good. Bam Bam with Moment is very good. Uh, Ollie gears... Um, Ali gear in moment is actually really good. Definitely slower, but the highest top end out of the all of these I've talked about so far. Uh, Brawn with NXT moment in middle lane is ridiculous in feud. Absolutely ridiculous. Um, and pretty quick. Um, Hall of Fame Kurt, if you're okay with sub gameplay, hits very hard. I don't like him because I hate sub gameplay. We got DDP here. Uh, we got Zombie Sammy. And Rocker's very good, too. There's a lot of really good strikers. I want to make sure I'm... Not... Dexter with the with the plate is, is super duper good. The taker plate is gear and stuff really fast, really easy. Those are probably the big strikers to me um, for the dudes. Yeah, so my best on my roster are obviously Bray and Sammy. I don't have Bam Bam or its moment. Top end Ali is ridiculous if you have everything. The thing is, though, uh, and so is Braun with the NXT moment. The thing is, though, with DDP is those power gems or countdown gems don't need a lot, and I think they do enough if you have, like, a uh, move damage strap, um, in particular the countdowns, which I like, that are so fast. Move damage strap, some takedown twos, um, it's just clicks and done. It's really fast. So I think his speed beats Bray. Uh, this is, uh, and with gear, I think his damage is very similar to Bray if you get his gear. Um, but his speed beats Bray. Uh, Bray, of course, has the sub reversal, which is awesome. Um, and Zombie Sammy is, is Z plate pyro, triple green is really fast. He's got a multiply build as well. So I kind of think I put him for sure in a top four group, um, even without, without gear, let's say like top five for sure. And they're all really, really close. So it's hard to say one is better than the other, depending on what you have. Like Bam Bam, you need the moment, which is super rare. Braun, you need the NXT moment, also super rare. And a middle lane, which I dislike. Um... DDP, I think, is better with less than most of them. If that makes sense. And then as you add in the stuff, then they all get better. And it just is kind of like preference based, I think, at that point. You know what you like. But th he's right there with any of the strikers. That's how I see it. Um, so if you're short a striker or you want a Hall of Fame striker or if you're a big DDP mark, uh, I think he's a good one to go for. Also, like, uh, Power Gem Boss, he would be ridiculous on, um, because his Power Gems are so big in so many of them. Um, so I think he'd be really good on Power Gem Boss, but other than that, he can do some color breaking with red. He can, if they have a red gem damage power, or a boss, he's going to be very good with that. And then, um, he can do a light shield breaking with the yellow on the, on the finisher with the Power Gems out there, so... Um, I think all in all, he's really good, easily a top five striker. Uh, I think pretty much depending on what you have, like top three striker on, on most rosters or what you like. And I think he's good enough and fast enough, even without the gear that he makes, he makes my personal top three on my roster. I don't, I don't have brawn up, but this isn't my roster, by the way, I don't have brawn up past six star bronze because of the middle line thing. So I don't actually, even though he's incredible, I don't really include him because I don't like needing a middle line bonus. Um, so for me, Bray and Sammy are my best and he's right there with either of them. So 
uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, preview. DDP is awesome. Um, good luck this weekend. Remember to like, subscribe, and share because that really helps me out. Other than that, guys, thanks for watching. Good luck out there.